everyone, and welcome back to the Utini Update, your weekly look at everything going on in Star Wars. My name's Eric, and today, Skeleton Crew reveals a new poster and official trailer, Ren is receiving his own legacy lightsaber and helmet, Ian McKay gives us a look into the design of the prequels, and Darth Vader comes to NASCAR. It's another jam-packed week in the Star Wars fandom, so hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't, and let's jump right into it. The biggest news of the week came from Skeleton Crew, the upcoming Disney Plus series that is just under a month away. Publicity has been slowly trickling out over the last couple weeks, Weeks, but we got our best look at the series yet with the release of the official trailer and a brand new poster. The trailer gave us a ton of new footage from the main cast, including Fern, Wim, KB, Neil, and Jude Law's Joe Nanawood, and we also saw a bunch more characters that we've only heard about in stills. Nick Frost's new droid SM33, or Smee, was finally featured in action, the pirate gang we talked about last month got to show off a bit, and we even got our first look at Wim's dad Wendo, played by Tunde Adebempe, and Fern's mom Farah, played by Carrie Condon. And while all of these new looks were great, the real star of the trailer was oddly enough, the vibe itself. Interviews with the creators and directors of Skeleton Crew have talked at length about the influence of Amblin and adventure films like The Goonies on the show, but this trailer finally showed that all in full, and the results were fantastic. From the main gang constantly being on the run, to the discovery of a massive treasure trove, to a Huttese cover of Major Tom, yes, that really happened, this trailer finally solidified the vibe of Skeleton Crew, guaranteeing that this is not simply another Mandalorian spinoff or a sequel to Ahsoka, this is, as the poster says, a Star Wars adventure, and that sense of almost retro excitement is prevalent throughout the entire thing. The release of the trailer was also followed by pre-orders for the first wave of Skeleton Crew Funko Pops that include the entire main gang as well as an owl cat named Kim, so be sure to check out the links in the description below for information on how to order those, as well as a look at the full trailer. And if you've already watched it, what did you think of the official trailer for Skeleton Crew? Were you as enamored by the sense of adventurous nostalgia as we were? Let us know in the comments down below. But Skeleton Crew wasn't the only property with a surprising merch drop last week because thanks to Yak Face over on Twitter, we discovered that Ren, the original character created by Charles Soule back in The Rise of Kylo Ren is coming to the Disney Store. That's right, on November 17th, an official legacy lightsaber and helmet will be released by Disney in honor of the man who led the Knights of Ren before Ben Solo's fall. Now, while Disney's line of legacy lightsabers is rather extensive, ranging from well-known blades like Vader, Luke, and Ahsoka, to more obscure weapons like Luminara, Kanan, and the High Republic Stellan Geos, this release may be their most niche drop yet. As we said, Ren originally appeared in The Rise of Kylo Ren, written by Charles Soule with art by Will Sliney, and Soule continued his mythology during his work on the massive comics event that included War of the Bounty Hunters, Crimson Reign, and Hidden Empire. But even so, he's not exactly a main name draw. But that being said, more obscure character merchandise is kind of the name of the game when it comes to Star Wars collecting. Sure, it's awesome to celebrate the main heroes of the saga, but anytime there's a little bit extra for those folks that are reading the weekly comics or diving into the novels, it feels like a little treat and a thank you from the higher ups. Uh, granted, it's a thank you that may destroy our bank accounts, but it's a thank you nonetheless. We have a link below detailing the upcoming drop as well as links to further reading about the history of Ren, but let me know, are you planning on picking up this saber? The helmet? Both? I mean, with Celebration Japan on the horizon, it's never too late to get started on a cosplay. And speaking of incredible designs, StarWars.com sat down last week with one of the best to ever do it, Ian McCaig. McCaig was responsible for some of the most iconic looks of the prequel trilogy, from Darth Maul to Padme and more, and in honor of the Phantom Menace celebrating 25 years, the Star Wars team talked with him at length about what it was like creating those films directly alongside Lucas all those years ago. The full interview is obviously fascinating, but in our view, the most touching elements of the talk were the ways that McKay described Lucas's process. During the creation of episode one, evidently George would visit the art department weekly, telling them the updates to the draft like they were hearing a bedtime story, with McKay saying, quote, I've never met a director who empowered and trusted artists as much as George. And that trust forms the foundation of the article as McKay takes us through his design process for Darth Maul, where George told him to create a vision from his worst nightmare. But after seeing McKay's original drawing, George amended it to a vision from his second worst nightmare. This unwillingness to simply cast away any idea allowed total creative freedom, even allowing an exercise where McKay designed Maul as a woman to produce the design for the eventual Mother Talzin in the Clone Wars. The chat is filled with a ton of other fantastic behind the scenes tidbits, including the fact that Obi-Wan's name 
Obi-Wan was originally Qui-Gon and that he would adopt the name of Obi-Wan after his master's death to honor him. A kind of classic idea only Lucas could draw up, and we'll link to the full story in the description down below. As he concluded the talk, however, McCaig surprisingly revealed that he has historically had difficulty connecting to Star Wars, despite his role in its creation. But recently, that all changed thanks to Andor, which he claims caught his heart and soul. Because of this newly ignited passion, he hopes to return to the saga going forward, and let's hope we're lucky enough to see that return sooner rather than later. And finally, Star Wars made its triumphant return to the racetrack this week thanks to Lucasfilm SVP and Executive Design Director Doug Chang, NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace, and the chosen one himself, Hayden Christensen. Now, it's no secret that George Lucas has always been a huge fan of motorsport, and for the last two years, Lucasfilm and Columbia have honored that tradition by creating customized car wraps showcasing some of the best designs in the saga. Last year, driver Bubba Wallace was fitted with a suit and car modeled after the iconic Rebel pilots from the OT, and this year, Doug Chang went above and beyond even further with a complete Darth Vader collection. The car wrap incorporates pieces of Vader's suit alongside the piercing red saber, and the racing suit, also called a fire suit, and helmet do much the same to bring Vader's legendary look to Wallace's race day. Chang and his design team reportedly spent several months putting this design together, and as a result of their hard work, not only was Wallace satisfied, but he got to appear alongside Hayden Christensen, who visited the car at the Phoenix Raceway to welcome Bubba to the dark side personally. The car will be driven on November 10th at the NASCAR Cup Series Championship, and soon after, on November 19th, Columbia will be releasing their new seasonal Darth Vader apparel collection to continue the annual tradition that has featured outfits inspired by a host of Star Wars legends. For a closer look at the car, as well as a look inside the design process, be sure to check out the link in the description. And there we have it! A look at the future of Skeleton Crew, a look at the past of the Phantom Menace, and a few more goodies to add to the collection. Nothing is better than another week in this fandom, and make sure you stay tuned to utini.com, all our socials, and our podcast network to keep up with everything that makes it amazing. Until next time, may the Force be with you.